Team, another great push question involving syllable types and in uh, and, and syllabication. This one right here is going to focus on, on two syllable words involving um, this pattern here, vowel, constant, constant, vowel. And we see this pattern in words like picnic, muffin, trumpet, where we have a vowel, constant, constant, vowel, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, vowel, constant, constant, vowel. And the, the syllable division is right between the double consonant. Is that right? So it's pick, nick, muff, bin, trumpet. And we're going to remember um, that that first syllable is is guaranteed to be a long, is a guaranteed to be a closed syllable. So it's a it's a short short vowel. Um, so we have short vowels going on here, and then all these others because they turn into CVC words, they also are short um, closed syllables. Okay, with that quick review, um, I want you to read the question, and I get it. It's a long question but I want you to try and read it in two minutes. And if you need more time, that's okay. But do me a favor, uh, pause me, read it until you're ready to unpause and then and then unpause and play the video again. And we'll, we'll talk about it, okay? Unpause, pause me now. Unpause, um, wordy, right? Detailed, really detailed. Good practice test if you're a reading specialist or you want to push on the 190 or RECA or Science of Teaching Reading, a good juicy question. Um, I'm just going to skim over it. Um, it's long. It's Both is long. The, the question that this is long and the answers are long. So, you know, it's like there's no easy place to begin. So let's just start with the first sentence. A group of first grade students, circle that word, uh, has mastered reading single syllable words, ooh, that's important, that follow the closed syllable patterns. Oh, uh, closed syllable patterns. Okay, so these are all closed syllable patterns. And team, by the way, I love it. Closed syllable patterns, we get that vocab, and we get these examples of closed syllable pattern words, yes, which we have already looked at. Closed syllable pattern words are the words that, that students begin with. These are all closed syllable, single syllable pattern words, right? And the vowel is always short in these um, VC type of words, closed syllable words. Okay, so we know what that is. We know what closed syllable pattern words look like. Okay, good. So, so in your, I think it's always good in your mind you're like, in your mind, you're like in. Your mind, you're like a uh, cat. Or you're like a um, uh, uh, tent, right? Or you're like a uh, frog, right? Just, just, just for yourself, right? You should, you should always like practice this. I, I wish I, I wish someone had told me this. I had exposure to this, but I didn't have, ex I had to learn the hard way. I had to fake it. <laughs> until I, I understood these patterns because, you know, uh, I, I just didn't learn it the first time. And maybe you didn't learn it the first time, or maybe you're learning it now for the first time. So just always, when you see those symbols, just have a go-to symbol. A CCV, uh, a CCVC word is like frog. Okay. The teacher would like to expand the student's reading development by teaching them how to read two syllable words. Ooh, that's good. That consists of closed syllables such as picnic, muffin, trumpet, pretzel, invent, frantic. Now, when you look at those words, okay, I'm hoping that you spot, okay, I'm hoping that you spot the vowel, consonant, constant vowel. Do you see that? That should be ringing in your head. The teacher could best promote the student's accurate, uh, efficient reading of this type of word by teaching them to use which of the following decoding strategies. Okay, so which one is it going to be? <clears throat> Let's start with the answer. A, look at the vowels in a target word. If they are separated by two consonants, divide the word between the consonants, muffin, and then read each syllable from left to right. Isn't that great? That's, that's a great way to, to learn this rule, right? 
So, and that could work for words like muffin or like rabbit, right? We'd be like two syllable word. If it has two syllables in the middle, divide it, divide it by those two syllables, those between the two syllables, and then read each syllable. So rab bit rabbit, right? Okay, now now the A is the answer. Read it, make sure you spot that. And if you were thinking these are uh, B, C, C, V words, then you should have saw that, B, C, C, V, right? You should have picked that up. But, but let's read the answers that are not right. Um, B, look for recognizable single syllable words within the target word, like muff, in, muffin, um, or ant in frantic. Is that the way you should do it? That's interesting. That's like ab bit or it in rabbit. No, that's not what we do. But obviously kids do that. Then that's that's a strategy that a child had worked out, you know, and probably told their teacher and they're like, wow, that's interesting. I'm gonna put this on this uh, teacher certification exam because kids are really creative, right? But that's not the strategy, we, that's not the formal strategy we teach, right? Or how about C, sound out each of the letters of the target word from left to right. So let's just stop there. We don't do that for multi-syllable words because that would be like p i k n i k picnic or m a f f n muffin, right? So so that's not that even though that might get you the answer sometimes for multi-syllable words we try and divide them into their syllable types or syllables and then decode each syllable and blend them together. So while this might get you the answer, it might get you to a point where you can recognize the word, it's not the strategy we suggest. How about this one right here? Sound out and blend the first two letters in a target word. If you recognize the word, then stop. But if not, proceed to the next set of letters. Okay, so that would be like being like uh, um, tra, tra, tr train. You know, the problem with that is um, what if you, how would you know if you recognize the word, right? You would only know if you had a visual clue or if it didn't make sense. So if you were at a, a very basic level, like we were talking about before at the different levels of reading stages of word recognition, I mean, this would be all these right here, right? Are things that, you know, are done at that early, early stage, but definitely like D. Like maybe you all you need is the TR to realize tra, and then if you had a picture of let's say a train, uh, that's a picture of a train there. I don't know, that doesn't look like a train, but that's a train. That maybe just being able to uh, blend the first letters and look at the picture, you might be able to recognize train, right? But that's really not um, doing the full decoding process, and it's definitely not breaking up a multi-syllable word. Uh, so, so B, C, and D are really interesting answer choices that don't, uh, don't match up with what we're trying to do with, uh, with a formal strategy. These are all sort of uh, strategies that kids use, right? <laughs> it's not a formal decoding strategy. It's, and, and this one here is describing this one here. Sorry about all the markings. This one here is describing that formal strategy known as vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel for multi-syllable words, just like these. And if you saw these, you should be thinking of your friend, right? And you should look for it in the answers. Team, the answer here is A, and it comes from this test here. And look at this test. This question in this test has all this great vocabulary review. Awesome stuff. So you should check it out. It's got some good challenging questions in it, okay? All right, uh, let's go, let's keep going. Let's keep going, all right? Uh, see you in the next one.